This is problem solving. However, I was the only female in the class. There were like 30 guys and me. Okay, I managed to get through it, loved it, kept the back of my mind because I had another passion. I had a passion for languages. And I decided I was going to go to the University of Houston and major in French and cultural linguistics. So, you know what? Foreign languages, Java, Python, same thing, right? <laughs> Syntax, whatever. You know, well, I got out there and um, I wanted to do some translations. I did that. I worked for an oil company where I did translating, but I also got in the technical field when I was in. Uh, at Amico, when it was Amico before it became VP. After that, I uh, decided, hey, I like this tech stuff, and started doing some programming, going back to school, getting a uh, master's in uh, management information systems, oh, just really, really well, and continued on with my studies, and decided, hey, I really want to continue this, and ended up going to Texas Instruments, uh, where I became a uh, programmer type, and then went back to school and said, I need more of this stuff. So I went to the University of Eastern Fair Lake and got my master's in, in uh, software engineering. Again, in most of my classes. And that's, you know, I absolutely agree about diversity. Diversity is so important within um, any kind of field, especially in the tech field, okay? And I found that being the Lone Ranger out there, okay? So I decided, hey, I need to get to high school. So um, we were living at Friendswood, and I said, hey, why not go into Friendswood High School and start teaching? This is my 16th year at Friendswood. Loved every minute of it. Loved the fact that um, I've had young ladies come through this program and doing marvelous, marvelous things. I have several working at uh, Microsoft. I have one at Google. I have oh, five or six out there working in the big tech industry. It's, in a, it, it's delight. I'm delighted that I have two up in here right now that has worked really hard and have enjoyed computer science. Now, my um, advice to you girls is that when you go out there and you find that there's three of you, don't worry about it. Get in there, work with them, be, you know, be strong about it. And it was hard for me. It was really hard being the only female when there was a domineering uh, male panel with me that I had to work together on projects. But it can be done and you can learn a lot from it and you can learn um, how to get along with the other part, <laughs> the other half. And, uh, but it's been a delight. I have enjoyed teaching. I, I hope I inspire more late young ladies as they go through. I just now have a young lady that's graduating her master's from UTD in cybersecurity. She just accepted a position at uh, Don Hopkins as her security advisor. You know, which I just love to see this and I love to keep in touch with my girls. You know that you've learned and have inspired you because we want to hear from you. We want to see what you're doing and what kind of great things you're doing in this world. Because you guys are problem solvers, and you love detail, and you are amazing. And thank you so much for this award. I just really appreciate it.